What's up, guys? I'm back with another movie review. Today, I've got another one from Kino Lorber Studio Classics, and it is A Lady Takes a Chance. So this, uh, this stars Gene Arthur as a woman who has no shortage of attention from men. It seems like every man she bumps into, you know, wants to get with her. She's got always has always has multiple suitors. Like even just no matter what she does, if she goes into a restaurant, the waiter is like falling all over himself. If she's just walking down the street, there's people tripping, you know, from looking at her and just falling for her on the spot. But none of these guys are the right guys, so she's always fending off all these various suitors. And finally, she decides she's going to take a uh, she's going to take a trip, uh, a cross country bus trip, to kind of get away from everybody and have some time to herself. At the same time. Uh, we have John Wayne who's playing a guy who's kind of in a similar situation in that women are always interested in him and you know he's all the willing to date them and have some fun with them but whenever things start to get serious he's not ready to be you know roped in because he's a rough and ready cowboy <laughs> and he doesn't want to be tied down so uh, you know you get the these like intersection of these two characters and believe it or not they're at like this rodeo type event and John Wayne sits on her by accident and that leads to them uh, meeting and kind of, you know, forging this connection. And they both kind of, you know, they want to be together, but they're both fighting like their natural instincts to not settle down. So it's a really interesting dynamic. And that's pretty much the movie is what follows as they try to get together, but not get together and, you know, so on and so forth. So this is just a light, breezy, uh, romantic comedy that's set in like a Western um, atmosphere. So even if you're not a fan of Westerns, this it shouldn't really matter. Uh, there's definitely a lot of Western tropes explored here including like the rodeo, the cowboy. There's a fantastic bar brawl that's just amazing. It has some ridiculous slapstick humor in it that's really fun. Um, but th that's pretty much what this movie is. It's just fun. Um, there's not a lot of depth to it. It's kind of predictable, but it's it's really well executed. John Wayne and Gene Arthur are fantastic. They both show a lot of range, um, a lot of chemistry. They handle the uh, kind of light drama. Well, when I say range, I mean like within this kind of material. Um, you know, like the light drama, the comedy, the romance, they have great chemistry together, they play off of each other really well. So basically a lot of what makes this movie worth watching is just the strength of, you know, their chemistry and the, you know, the strength of the leads here. But again, I really like the humor. I think the slapstick stuff works most of the time. It throws a lot of humor out there and not all of it lands, but most of it does. Um, it's a mixture of kind of like sharp uh, dialogue, some sillier dialogue, some goofy, broad humor, some physical pratfalls and slapstick. So it's a nice mixture. And again, it's just kind of, you know, silly fun throughout. Um, I had fun with it, and I don't normally like these kind of movies, so that should kind of tell you something about it. Uh, for those who think John Wayne is always stodgy, this, <laughs> this movie definitely disproves that. Um, he turns in a really colorful and really fun to watch performance. Gene Arthur is radiant here, just beautiful, and puts on a great performance as well. So uh, I just had a lot of fun with it. And again, it's nothing, you know, nothing that in depth or that, you know, incredibly memorable in terms of like traditional movie elements. But it's really fun, and it's a movie that I think holds up on replay value. Um, and it's definitely worth checking out. Uh, the Blu ray is from Kino Lorber Studio Classics. And it's got no extras, so all we have is the movie. The transfer, though, looks really good. It's really clean. It's a black and white movie. Uh, contrast is spot on. It's really stark and uh, really nice, deep blacks. Um, I didn't notice a lot of issues with the print, and it also uh, has pretty good detail as well. So I think as far as uh, the transfer goes, it's good. And, of course, I know some people would like to have extras. But honestly, and I know I get a lot of uh, slack for this, but I would rather have no extras than like those film historian commentaries or fan commentaries. I don't think they add much to the release, so I would just rather have, you know, just the movie and have the movie well presented, unless they've got some good first-hand uh, account extras or trailers or stuff like that. So I'm sure some will find the disc to be a little bit bare bones, but the movie is well presented, and to me, that's what matters. Uh, that's my review of the movie of uh, <laughs> Lady Takes a Chance. Uh, if you want to read my full write-up of it, you can go to markfusion.com and check that out, as well as a ton of other Kino Lorber Studio Classics movies, all kinds of other just classic movies in general. Uh, I'm also on Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch if you want to follow me on any of those, at Mark Fusion. I'm also Mark Fusion at letterbox.com, where I diary what I've been watching. You can see what might be coming up here on the channel. I usually have a pretty considerable backlog of movies I'm waiting uh, to get around to reviewing on here. So you can make a recommendation, ask for something to get bumped up the list, whatever you'd like to do. Uh, the best way, though, that to support me is just to hit that sub button. It's an easy, free, direct way to support me and help me to keep making these videos, keep talking to you guys about these movies. 
And uh, also watching the old videos may not seem like a big deal, but it actually is. It's a huge help to me. So if there's something in the playlist of hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of movie reviews um, on my YouTube channel that catches your eye, please do give those a look and know that you're uh, helping me out tremendously. So thank you so much for watching this video, and hopefully I'll see you guys soon.